Hey, what's going on, guys? And today's video is brought to you by 5 Hour Energy Extra Strength. I got something different for you guys today. It's the world's biggest Minecraft house. Look at that thing. You're laughing at... Wait. Wait, you should be laughing at it. That's a really small house. Um, hold on one second. Where, where did... Where did I put this thing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Let me, um, <clears throat> yeah, what am? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the world's biggest Minecraft house that's, that's only built with, like, a couple blocks. Because if you see it this way, cobblestone's on the bottom, wood's on the sides, there's two doors there. You know, there's not very many blocks. Probably a total of about 18 and a half blocks. The reason I say half is because there is a cake in there. That is considered a half block, so... Yeah, but today guys, we're gonna do a tour of this house. Now, it's not just the world's biggest house It's a flippin' redstone house. I didn't think it could get better than that, but it does so uh, let's get started. Now, guys, before we travel into this massive house, look at this. The clouds are even going through it. But before we travel into here, I want you guys to slippity slap that like button with your tongue. Hi. Don't don't slap it with your tongue. I, I don't even know if tongues work on touchscreen mobile devices or well, if you have a mouse, I guess. No, don't do that. Your mouse is dirty. No, no, no. That's germs. No, no, no. Your boy Euclid, he's coming in clutch with a new creation. But I want you guys to slap that like button with something with your tongue. Just, just actually. Don't, no, don't do your tongue. Don't, don't, don't do the tongue. I don't want you guys getting sick. That's really, uh, just, just, just slap the like button with your thumb. Thumb or tongue. No, thumb. Thumb, thumb, thumb. All right, I'm mumbling on here. Let's go ahead and head into this house. So we have this really special elevator that is going to take us up to the house and we have a lot of things to show you guys in this house that I did not expect was really possible. So you walk in here and the house is massive. We have a crafting table, a bookshelf, uh, a cake, we got a furnace, we got all this awesome stuff. And you're probably like, Unspeakable, wow, this is great. You know, it's a big house, but um, it's not that special. Well, geez, why way to ruin the party, dude. It actually is very special. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. I bet you didn't expect me to press a button. I didn't bet you didn't expect the door to open. This door actually takes a really long time. Give it a second. And hang on. It's still going. It's it's still going. It's stay okay, it's done. You done? So you walk in here and this is the crafting table room. Now all these other places or all these other blocks are going to have different rooms in them that we're going to go explore. So it's really, really cool. But this one is the crafting table. So you would assume, you would assume that it has stuff to do with crafting and it does. Kind of. When we walk over here, we have this little armor thing. Uh, basically what we can do is we can sort through different types of armor. So if I press this button, it's going to sort through different armor. Okay, maybe it's just going to put it away. Give me the other armor, please. Please, give me the... the Maybe if I press the glass thing and I give me the other, give me, give me two. There, there it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> so this button cycles through armor. This button releases the glass so you can actually, you know, get the armor. So that's actually really, really cool. Now I have two chest plates. Okay, someone eat that. And then this button over here is going to close the door. It actually closes pretty quick. Opens really slow, closes really quick. I like it. There's also an upstairs area, which we will check out in a second. But first, let's explore what this thing is over here. So this is basically a secret door. Oh, that's not the combination. No, don't, don't look at that. Basically, the combination is you have to get this arrow to look up at the torch. And it's going to open this secret little room. This room is going to contain <clears throat> very cool stuff. This room contains armor. Enchanted armor. Good enchanted armor. And you also have a armor customization center, which is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and mess around with this thing, and I'll show you guys what this thing does over here. So you can select any type of armor you want, any color, whatever the flip you want. Let's say you want purple, pink, purple, green. You go in here, you press the button, you stand right here, and the armor gets dispensed right on your body don't even have to leave don't even have to open your inventory and put on armor nope five star restaurant and then this over here is going to be a custom kind of way to enchant your armor so let's say i want armor with fire protection i'm gonna press this button and it's gonna bring me out diamond armor with fire protection give it a second maybe another oh there it is okay cool so if we look at this armor it should be 
fire protection. There you go. So if you want some other things like projectile protection, blast protection, um, I believe the shield one is thorns. All you have to do is press this button and it's going to dispense that type of armor. All right, so let's go see what's upstairs. Okay, so that's pretty much all for that other room. So we have a nice little bed over here with the new light gray beds because now you can have like different color beds in Minecraft. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But over here we have a chest kind of organization system. So let's say I got myself a, oh, oh, a notch apple. Let's say I want to put it in the red chest because my red chest is for all my notch apples. So the red chest is full of notch apples. Now let's cycle to other chests. So these are shulker boxes for those of you guys that don't know. And every one of them is going to have different stuff in them. So you can pretty much cycle through all the colors. You can store different stuff in every single shulker box. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back around to the red one. And I broke it. All right, so we're back on the red one. Don't go fast. You're going to break it. And boom, there's all our golden apples. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a chest organization system where you can color coordinate shulker boxes. And it's all automatic. It's cool. It's fancy. It's nice. It's five-star restaurant. Classy. That is pretty much it for this room. Uh, let's press this button and let's head out of here. Got to wait for the super long door again. Actually, I'm just going to... Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So next up is, I would say, the bookshelf. But the bookshelf doesn't actually do anything, unfortunately. Sorry. But the furnace, on the other hand... Oh, snap! Does it do something good? Let's press this button, and we will be entered in the beautiful furnace arena. Now, this door was actually a lot quicker. I like this door. Okay, so let's go inside here. So we walk inside here, and it's pretty nice. We got the cookie monster. Um, I don't know why there's Cookie Monster in here. Oh, wait, I get it because it's a furnace. Everything in here has to do with food and smelting things. So, um, this is a food dispenser. So, let's say your boy Unspeakable is feeling wheaty. That was cringy. Let's say, you know, Unspeakable wants some wheat. Let's say he wants 16 pieces of wheat. I'm going to press that button. And my beautiful pieces of uh, bread. I don't know why I said wheat, but it's like wheat because wheat's made out of bread. But it's actually bread. You know what I mean? But there you go. Your bread's going to be dispensed in the chest. Exactly 16 pieces. And on the dot, that is 13. Last time I checked, that says 1-6. That, that is 13. Maybe I don't have enough bread. Yeah, that's probably the reason. I don't have enough bread. Yeah, you see, see, I just don't have enough bread. You know, don't worry about it. Don't, don't get angry. No, I just don't have enough bread. So basically, that's what it does. You can request food or whatever. It's pretty, pretty cool. And then over here, we have the cookie monster. So numbers of cookies you want. So you can kind of see one, two, three. Let's say I want uh, five cookies, which is the middle one. So it's going to give me five cookies. Perfect. You know, cookie monster. Amen. But wait, there's more. There is an upstairs area. So let's go ahead and head up here. I actually... Not really sure what's up here. What is this? Um, oh, cool. Look, there's like a window so you can look out on your house or inside your house. Weird, but cool. So it looks like this is a automatic potion kind of brewing stand. Well, not fully automatic, but let's see what we can make here. Let's do the puffer of the fish. Let's do... um. The, I, I don't know what this does. Okay, and then uh, let's say we want... More power, less duration. All right, so if we break this glass here, let me get one of these. We can see that it actually is brewing our stuff. There's the puffer fish. It's going to brew our stuff. After it gets brewed, it's going to go straight into this chest. So let's see. Hold on. Give it a second. There we go. Okay, it's also applying the redstone too because we did indeed ask for more. Wait. We asked for power, not duration. Maybe you can't do power on this one. Maybe just dur duration will do. It's okay. It's, I'm not complaining. Duration, power, whatever, whatever. There we go. So that is water breathing. So once it's done, it should be dispensed in here. Woo! There you go. Water breathing, eight minutes, three of them. Bam, wazam. And then this thing should light up here in a second. Letting you know it's ready to craft the next potion. So you don't, like, confuse the machine. So give it a second. It's... I don't know what it's doing. It, it's trying. But that is pretty much it for the furnace room. Now, wait, guys. It only gets better. It only gets better, I swear. Let's press this button because we totally don't want anyone knowing that we have a hidden room in our furnace. Let's go over to this one. This is the crafting table. So, I mean... Uh, did I really just call an enchanting table a crafting table? I mean, it's an enchanting table. 
Not a crafting table. It's an enchanting table. It, you know, see, I, I sometimes I get confused. They both start with or end with the word table. You know, sometimes it's just a little hard on me, but I'm very sorry. That was embarrassing. Let's press this button, and this is going to take us down into the enchanting table redstone room. So basically, we have three things in this room. We have an enchanting room, we have an ender pearl dispenser, and we have the nether. If I press this button, it's going to open up a portal that we can travel into and, well, go to the nether. And then if you press this button, well, it's going to dispense ender pearls. 16 of them, to be exact. That's 14. Why did you... My numbers are off today. <laughs> oh, wait, no, there's two more right there. I didn't pick them up. Okay, I'm okay. Someone face palm for me, please. And then if you press this button right here, it's going to open up an enchanting room, which is like the way that door opens is so flipping cool. Can we get can we get a replay of that? Look at this. Look at the way it closes. Okay, it's like a T when it opens. Like. Okay, yeah, that's enough for today. That's enough Minecraft for today. So that's pretty much, but that's pretty much this whole entire room. That's really all it is. And then up here, it's just kind of decoration. We have some nether warts and stuff like that. I'm just kind of decoration stuff. Nothing too fancy. Got some new uh, prismarine terracotta, whatever the flip these are blocks. So we have one more place to visit, and that is the pumpkin and the chest. So I want you guys to try and guess before we go in here what you think is going to be in the pumpkin. I bet you you can't guess what's in the pumpkin. If you guess pumpkins in the pumpkin, then you're right. Yeah, there's pumpkins in the pumpkin. So basically, we can walk in this beautiful pumpkin, and we have pu pumpkins growing. We have sugarcane, uh, watermelon, and chickens, I guess. Chickens? I don't know where the chickens are. But these are pretty much automatic farms, and the way these work is um, they're basically observer blocks. So you can see there's three observer blocks right there, and let me show you guys. All these work exactly the same. There's observer blocks on all these. They all work the same. Basically, what happens is when these grow, the observer block is like, hey, it's grown. It allows the pistons to be pushed, activating a redstone signal, which cuts off the sugar cane, and then it will be dispensed in this chest. So it's fully automatic, and it is awesome. You don't have to touch any of these farms. Oh, there's the chickens right there. So these chickens are also a fully automatic farm. Basically, what it is, there's a bunch of baby chickens there. Once the baby chickens grow... A observer block is like, hey, uh, the chicken has grown. It's an adult. It basically puts a lava bucket out on the half slab so it doesn't hurt the other chickens. And it roasts them and turns them into cooked chickens. So, yeah, that's great. Well, let's go ahead and head upstairs in this pumpkin. We're actually going into the chest right now. And if if you wouldn't guess, inside the chest, we have a chest room. Ha <laughs> ha, who wouldn't guess that? Oh, not me, no. But yeah, this is a, this is basically a giant chest room. So basically what it is, you have an input and an out, or input up there, my bad, output right there. So let's say you get a ton of diamonds. Let's say you get a real ton of diamonds. You put all your diamonds in there and you can see that it's slowly going to start taking the diamonds and sorting them in chests. Well, let's say you're like, oh! I want my diamonds back. I want some of my diamonds back. So you can flip this lever, and then you can press this button, and it's going to dispense your diamonds back in this chest. There you go. They're right there. It's going to dispense all the diamonds until you tell it to stop. That's a lot of diamonds. We should probably we should probably tell it to stop. Okay. And then over here on this end, well, by the way, there's more chests up here just for decoration and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, This allows you to dispense certain blocks. So let's say... <laughs> You want diamonds, you, you want some diamonds. You press the diamond button, and then it's going to come out with a shulker box full of diamonds, diamond blocks, whatever you put in there. But let's say you're feeling goldy today. Goldy, get it? Because there's gold, so you press the gold thing and... Oh, wait, you actually have to press this button first. I may have broke the machine. Oh, your boy's got the light blue shulker box. Oh, no! Let's say you're feel, feeling goldy today. You press the gold button and, um... Speaker broke the machine. I broke the machine. You're supposed to press this button and then and then press this button. Let's see. Oh wait, there's no blue one. Let's. What about the tree one? Yeah, no, I broke it. These machines are very easy to break. I'm about. What the flip is that? Is that a little mini cacti on a bunch of leaves? What the flip? Look at this. Wait, watch. I can multiply them. Oh my gosh. Ah! I've got the power. Bum, 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 bum. You want to see something really cool? I got more power. I just deleted all of it. And yes, I know. It surprises me. There's not actually anything behind this painting. No, there's not. I wish there was. 
but there's not. All right, so let's go ahead and head outside of the pumpkin, and I think that's actually it. I think that's uh, kind of concludes the whole entire showcase. Um, if you fly up here, I can show you guys a little bit more in detail, but there's nothing on or nothing in or under the bed. I mean, there might be monsters, but I mean, you know, I don't think there's monsters. There's no monsters. Nah, nah, nah. But um, we did the crafting table. We did the furnace. And there's a brewing stand on top of the furnace. Get it? Because there's like brewing in the furnace, you know, because there's a brewing, you know, crafting station in the furnace. Yeah. We didn't do the bookshelf or the cake because there's actually nothing in there. So I'll actually dig into it to kind of show you guys. This is basically, it's it's just a bunch of other, yeah, it's gross. You don't want to see that. It's a bunch of other redstone. Same goes with the cake. Yeah, there's, well, there's actually no redstone. It's actually just empty. This is an empty cake. That's, that's really sad. And we did the crafting table. We did the enchanting table. We did the pumpkin and the chest and the... <coughs> All right, so let's head out of here. <laughs> So let's go ahead and go down. All you gotta do is press this button and it's going to take you down. What is uh, these slime blocks? Interesting, interesting. Very, very interesting. But guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank Euclides for his hard work on this map. You guys can check him out. Link in the description. But guys, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more unique videos like this, I need your ideas. Comment in the comment section below some ideas you have for unique redstone creations or just video ideas in general. I'll admit, guys. I'm at that point in time where I'm recording a lot of Minecraft videos. I'm starting to double upload a lot, and I'm starting to need more ideas from you guys. I tweeted out a lot on Twitter. I'm like, hey, guys, what kind of video do you want to see tomorrow? You know, you guys really helped me out. But I know if I ask for you guys in a, you know, in a YouTube video, you guys will be like, what? Anyways, I'll be reading through the comments on this video, and I'll be pulling a lot of y'all's comments and doing some of your ideas um, and stuff. So comment in the comment section below what type of videos you want to see on the channel. and preferably things that we haven't done yet or things that we haven't done in a while so guys with that being said have a safe and fantastic rest of your day i will catch you guys later in another minecraft video and yeah roll the outro